Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to create a banner and upload that to your homepage in your Canvas course. Now, banners are a great way to get that Bitmoji feel without all the negative Bitmoji side effects like being incompatible with mobile devices or being non-ADA compliant or just causing confusion with student navigation from tab to tab. So the way we're going to do that is there's multiple ways to create a banner. And if you have another option that you prefer, um, another program you like, um, feel free to use that program to create your banner. We are going to use Google Draw. So I'm going to go to my drive, go down to more, and I'm going to select Google Drawings. Now, the default Google Drawings size is what you see here. We need to customize that. Um, so it fits a, a banner size for our canvas course. So I'm going to go to file page setup and where it says standard, I'm going to use that drop down arrow and go down to custom. I'm going to change the inches to pixels and I'm going to alter these numbers here a little bit. So I'm going to change this to 1500. I'm going to change the second number to 500. So 1500 by 500 are the recommended pixel size for your banner in your Canvas course. When I click Apply, it resizes that for me, and now I have my correct banner size. Now, the first thing I need to do is find a background. So inside Drawing, I can go to Insert, Image, and I don't have anything saved right now, so I'm going to search the web. And I'm going to search the web for a specific search topic. I'm going to say Floor and wall background, floor and wall background. If you search that image, you're going to get um, a classroom type setup. You can find several options that, that, and you can pick one that you like, but it's also going to be large enough that it's going to be a background size. So I'm going to search there. And as you can see, there are several options there. And I can continue to scroll through if I wanted to, but I, you know, I find one that I like and I can work with that. So just for time's sake, we're going to go back up to the top here and we'll use this one here. So I'm going to click and drag this over here. It takes a while, but it resizes here. Now, you can see that the background does not fit the banner size. So using the handles over here on the image, these blue boxes, I can stretch this image to fit so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it in the center and you can see those red lines that pop up. When I get that crosshair, that tells me that image is dead center in the middle of my background image. Then I use the handles just to kind of stretch it and fit it there. Now, there are going to be some background images that when you start to stretch it, it's going to get pixelated and kind of skewed a little bit. That's OK. Um, a lot of them are still going to work. This one looks like it's going to be just fine. So no problems there. If you find one and you start to stretch it out and it doesn't look right, then you can go back and find another one um, from your search results and, and see until you get one that looks good after it's been stretched. OK, so the next thing I may do um, is search for something else. If this is my classroom um, situation, then I'm going to go to insert image, search from web. And from this point, I'm going to start looking for images to, to, like furniture, things like that. So let's say I'm going to look for a desk. Now, I'm not just going to type desk because a lot of images of desks are going to have the background with it, and I don't want that. So I'm going to type in the file extension PNG because usually images that are PNG uh, files do not have a background. They're transparent. So I'm going to search for desk PNG. And as you can see, there are some that still have some backgrounds, but there are a few here that do not. So you can scroll through here until you find a desk that doesn't have a background that you want to use. Some will work, some won't, but you have some options there. So let's just say I want to use, hmm, I saw one up here. Yeah, we'll use this one with the shadow. I'll drag this one over here and drop it here. It takes a while to load. As you can see, the background uh, is transparent way too big for my image so I can use my handles to resize move it around till it's kind of on the floor and make it a little bit bigger here there we go and I can continue to add images as I wanted to okay I could do let's say I want to do a clock 
or anything like that. Okay. Search through there until I found something that I liked. Drag it over here. If it's way too big, I can resize it and put it on there. So you can fill out your background with whatever images you would like to put in there. I would recommend putting the uh, suffix PNG there um, so it does filter out those images usually that have backgrounds. Now once you've got everything decorated, if this was my official banner for my classroom, I would probably put a lot more stuff in here. Um, I'd be a little more selective, but for time's sake, we're going to say I'm done decorating my classroom. The last thing is I could use my Bitmoji uh, to put an image of myself in here um, to kind of get that Bitmoji feel. So up in my extensions, I have my Bitmoji extension. I can open that up, find an image of myself, bring it in. Again, I could resize it if I needed to, uh, to fit. And once it's where I need it, I'm good. So let's say that I have completed everything. I've got it all set up the way I want to. I've decorated the way I want to. Then the next thing I would do is I would get ready to save this image. Okay. So what I'm going to do is file, download, and then I have some options here. Again, I'm going to stick with the PNG option. I'm going to download this as a PNG. And it's going to download the untitled drawing. I could have titled it if I wanted to, background or whatever, but it, for this time's sake, it's just going to be called untitled drawing. Okay, so I've decorated my background image. I've got everything the way I want to. I downloaded it as a PNG. Now I go to my Canvas course. I've got my home page here. It's all ready to edit. It's blank. It's a clean slate. I'm ready to put my image in here. So I go to edit. I've got my little box here. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit so I can see a little bit more as I put this image in here. Okay, here's where I need to find where I save my drawing. So if I'm not sure, I can click down here and show in folder. It's going to say that it saved it right there. In my downloads, I can look at my breadcrumb trail. It's in my downloads. So what I can do here is go to my three dots, go to my little insert image icon, upload image. Here's where I could either click and drag from my download folder, which I'm going to do that there. There it is. Submit. Takes a second to load. And there it is. Now, I have the option also, since this is my home page, I could, if I wanted to, add some text. Let me center that text, maybe with my name and my course or class that I teach. And maybe my grade level. Anything like that. This is where I can put my buttons. Um, you'll learn more about um, creating buttons if you want to do that. You can put all that information down here beneath your banner. Once you've got everything that you want down there, you just click save. And there you go.